Unfortunately, by default, Gothenburg does not have any visibility options, which means that you are unable to set the visibility options depending on the rules or, or roles on your site. Now today I'm going to show you how to fix it. That means that if I have a regular user, he or she says this kind of layout and blocks here, but if the user role is student, then he or she sees something else, for example, the forum here. As you see, there is a difference. One sees the forum and the other one sees the orders. Also, I'm going to show you some other ways how to use it. For example, all logged out users will see this message here. But if you're logged in and go to the sale page, you'll see another message here. One gets 30% off, another one gets 20% off. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes to accomplish that. Now, in order to make it work, go to the plugins and add new and search for block visibility. This one here. Install and activate it and you're basically good to go. There are some settings under the settings and block visibility here. You can set it up whether the contextual indicators are shown. As you see those eye icons here, those are the indicators. I would suggest you to leave them on because it's a good feature to see whether the block has any options or not. For example, if I choose this one, the indicator is here. Next option, enable block toolbar controls for visibility settings. This settings can be found here. If you open it up, then there is a hide block here. I will show you later what does the hide block mean. Next settings, you can restrict the block visibility controls only to the editors, authors or contributors. For the administrator, it's always on. If you don't use it, then leave it off. Enable full control mode, use with caution. If you're interested, what is it? Then click on this link here. The explanation is here. I would suggest you to leave it off. And if you want all plugin settings to be removed after the block visibility un is un uninstalled, then activate this one here. Here are some visibility controls, whether the hide block or date or time or visibility by user role are shown. And these are the options here. You can leave them on or turn it off. I usually leave them on. So those were the settings. Now let's take a look how to use the plugin. Now I have a banner here at 20% sale for all products. If I click on this block here, the visibility options are here down below. I want to show this message only for logged out users. Take a look. If I update it and see the page, then I don't see this message because I'm logged in. Now I have a logged out user here. I'm going to go to the sale page and there it is. So we hide this message only for logged in users. But I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to give the 30% off for logged in users. Now I'm going to go to the visibility settings and this message is going to be shown only to logged in users. Let's take a look. I'm going to update it, refresh the page. There is a 30% sale for all products for logged in users. I am going to refresh the page and 20% only for logged out users. This is a message here. Now let's take a look at the other option we can use it. This is the my account page here. And for the logged out users, it looks like this, Not, nothing fancy here, but I created a fancy dashboard here, which looks like this. Nice icons. Every icon points to the endpoint, for example, edit account. I can use it. I can change it here. Orders and so on. This here is shown only to the regular customers. How did I do that? I'm going to choose the row here. Now I'm going to go to the visibility and I choose user role. I'm going to select the student 
and hide on selected roles. That means I'm going to hide this one only from students. All other roles will see this one here. Now let's see what the student sees. I'm going to log in as a student. And as you see, student sees something else because there is a forum icon and link here. How did I do that? I created another block here with the icons and under the visibility I chose user role and student. This time I did not select the hide and selected roles which means show this block only for students. I can do that with every block. For example, I click here on this icon box block and I'm going to tell it to hide block. Now, if I'm going to update it and refresh it, then as you see, the block is gone because I hide it. I'm going to enable it again. Now, let's take another example. This one here once again. So maybe I want to show this sale notification only for a certain time. Therefore, I'm going to start it today and I'm going to end it on Sunday. That means that this rule here is only shown during this time, which means that you can schedule your messages or banners or whatever you want to show. So to summarize, the visibility by user role all means that everyone sees it. Public means that it is visible only to logged out users. Private means that it is visible only to logged in users. And if you choose the user role here, that means that only author and administrator will see it. But if you choose hide on selected roles, this means everyone but administrator and author sees this one. And there is an option to hide the block from everybody. You can choose it here or here. Once again, click here, visibility and hide block. It's hidden from everyone. Now, as you saw, it was really easy to set up the block visibility using by user roles or logged in or logged out users. Before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. Also, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.